أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah without partners without a father and without a son and I bear witness and I testify that Muhammad Jesus Moses Abraham and Noah are his prophets servants and messengers peace be upon them all today is the 26th of February 2019 and we're taking on another one of Christian Prince's um, blatant lies and I'm going to show you which one today this is the one a good brother of mine a very dear brother of mine sent me a link to this clip it's out of a um, a longer video I actually responded to this but since this is a shorter version of it and it had so many uh, views I thought I'll um, cover it again to do what to expose the liar the um, Hades Prince the deceiver prince um, and before I start this is a message to you Christian Prince I hope the the one who um, whoever uploaded this oh this is one of his channels revelations um, oh don't call it revelation it's it's dreams by the way because the book of revelations is all dreams you can't call it revelations hmm You're not, I'm talking to you, Christian Prince, you are not um, a brother in faith, of course, but you're still a brother in humanity. You're a human being. I do respect you as a human being, though I have no respect to you as the, um, what you call yourself here, Christian Prince, who comes here and lies and cheats and deceives people. But as a human being, you deserve uh, some respect. I would respect you more if you had a bit of manners and if you had a bit of respect to your own audience. I'm sure there are a lot of people like you who are listening to you and following you and they've got no problem um, using foul speech. And one of them actually said a really, really bad word to me. And I forgive him because he's an ignorant. So using the F word in here in only to comment on a video I posted is very low. Okay, very, very low and very cheap. And unless you have manners, you get nowhere. Okay? Jesus is not going to recognize you or acknowledge you on the day of judgment. If you are you Christian Prince and the one who actually dropped uh, the F word on the comment to my video so that being said I'll get into the video and look at um, look at how look how cheap I'm talking to you audience now Look how cheap this man is. Even the title of his videos is dirty. That only proves one thing, that he's, his mind and heart are dirty. You see, it is obvious that whatever is in your mind, in your heart, it translated in your actions, whether by word or by hand or whatever. Okay, so in here he says sex in Islam. Hmm. Okay, heaven with Z Zakir Naik and your mother. I I really don't know what you mean by that, but I think it is very very low and very dirty. I mean. 
Do you have any respect to your audience, Christian Prince? All right. But you audience really should ask for better and for more and for a little bit of respect. I have no problem with anyone on earth criticizing Islam as long as he or she does it in a civilized way. Christian Prince, be a tiny, a wee bit more civilized than you are in this video and in many, 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 many. In fact, in all your videos, you lack manners and character. You use foul speech. You use dirty words only to get people to support you when I tell you what, no Christian follower, no Jesus follower should be following you and supporting you. And in here, I, I wanted to um, mention my friend and brother in humanity, Jerry, if you are listening to this, I send you a link and I'm sure you follow in whatever I am posting. Jerry, you're a good man. Unfortunately, you um, you enjoy when the Hades prince, the the deceiver prince, uses bad language and mocks others. That's very low. I'm sure Jesus was, would not would not have been happy, would not be happy with you doing that. Okay. Just so you would know. And on that day, when Jerry and uh, Hades Prince will call Jesus Lord, Lord, he will tell you get away from me. I don't know you. It will start with you, especially you guys who call him Lord. We don't call him Lord. We call him prophet, servant, and messenger of the Almighty God. So now, I'm officially going to start with the video. As you can see, he has on the screen this uh, hadith. Yeah. Now, this hadith here, this bit here that he brings is the biggest fallacy in Islam and all our um, all our scholars talked about this and refuted this and rejected this because it has an addition only in this one here that is wrong it is an addition from someone it's amazing how the enemies of Islam wanted to add things into Islam, but we can spot them because they could not change Quran. They went on to change the Sunnah. So I'm going to prove to you that this is another lie that Christian prints. I will bring to you the correct um, hadith and I will show you the addition. So, bear with me, please. I'm going to be showing a few things. Listen to him now. Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sir? Mute YouTube, sir. All right. He's having this conversation there with the, with the caller, whom I will get to later on. Just This is just for you guys. Um, because the hadith that he has picked up is... And not is not recognized by Islamic scholars. I will show you in Arabic and then I will translate it. So this is the hadith that he brought up. Yeah. This is the Arabic of it. But you don't need to see the Arabic of it, but you all you need to know is what the scholars had said about it, and this is the bit. Okay, 
So what I did is I copied this and I put it on Google Translation, which is here. If you want, I can do it right in front of you. I'll delete this. Go. Here's the thing. Copy. Google Translation. And you can pause and see word by word, even if you are not an Arabic reader, you can still check the letters and all that. As you can see, there it is. So you can read. So Imam An Nasai said, This is a Nasai here. Google put it on Nasami, which does not exist. It's An Nasai. As you can see here, the transliteration, Kala, that's Kala, Anhu, Al Imam, of course, Imam here, Al Nisa'iyu, meaning Al Nisa'iyu, this one, this uh, Google is is hopeless. But anyway, he said it is not with confidence. The the narrator, the narrator of this hadith, here he said here, Laisa bithiqa. The narrator of the uh, so go back to Google here. Waqala al Imam Darakutni Darakutni said it is weak. Imam Ibn Hajar said, and this is the biggest Imam here, Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. And I would want you, audience, if you don't believe what I am get putting up here, get Christian Prince who can read Arabic and get him to verify what I am doing here. I am getting it from here, which is Muntad al-Furqan al-Dawi. He can get you all that. And no worries, he knows what I'm talking about. So Imam ibn Hajar said he was weak when he was a jurist and he was accused by a certain something. It says Ibn al-Mu'een. It, it was not translated in here. But then, Hadith was weak by the Albani and Da'if ibn Majah. You see, Al-Albani, like in here, show more translit transliteration, is Al-Albani, not the Albanian. Here, we call him Al-Albani, but, you know, he brings it as Albanian. Anyway, Da'if ibn Majah, of course, ibn Majah is very famous. Christian Prince, you can confirm that. And if there is any Christian Arab in here, you can read for people. And if I am putting anything that is a lie or a cheat, please tell me. I am asking you to do it if you find anything that is not right. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to take you to another website. And in here, here's the Hadith, of course. Unless if you want me to take the hadith, I'll take the hadith just to show you the, the translation that we are talking about. The same hadith that the deceiver prince is showing in here. So we put it in here. And here is the translation. Uh, you know how is that. Here, and it does not bend. All right? As here, you see that it's just different translation, but it is exactly the same thing. Remember this? So I am getting it from where? From here. But what are these people saying about this hadith in particular? So I'm going to delete what I have in here. I'll go and get you what is being said in here. Let's go to Google Translation. There it is. Mm. Narrated by Abu Mam al Bahili. Summary of the degree. Very weak. Al Albani source, the weak series. It is actually, it has been studied by hundreds of scholars. It is very weak. The person who narrated this hadith, the hadith that Christian deceiver prince is putting up here is rejected because we don't even know who put it up there. 
And the reason why we don't know is because there has always been hypocrites who showed uh, some kind of belief and following the Prophet, yet they were not Muslims. They were hypocrites pretending and they were adding into um, the um, into our traditions. So, as you can see, it is not just reject; it's very, very weak. Okay, and Al Albani has it in his series where they are called the weak series, Silsila Al Hadith of Zaifa. Okay, so we'll get out of this one here. Um. I'm not going to get back to you, Christian Prince, until I get few things done. So, while you guys can read, I'm going to comment a bit on this. Um, the, the hadith that Mr. Christian Prince brought to deceive you guys is stated under, under the reward for martyr. Okay? But whoever um, wrote that hadith actually made it so obvious that we would recognize it. It says that there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise. This hadith here does not exist. The only form that this hadith exists at is this. There are, there are six things that Allah will offer the martyr. I will leave all that. And I'll just show you that where the lie is. Okay. So you marry 72 wives, two from Horis and 70 from blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He married 72 wives, and her name dies. And he may intercede for 70 of his relatives. From the two, so in the 72 wives along Al Hurlain, woman of paradise, it goes straight here. Whereas that, because it was actually added into the tradition from the 72 wives it goes or is blah 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 and it says that okay and I'm going to show you more but that one there is actually graded as weak hadith unreliable chains of narration okay though there are some people who say that it is it is true but that bit of it is not all right Here's the hadith again, so I just want to show you where I'm getting it from. All you need to do is just Google this, and then you go down here and you read. That's the hadith that he's talking about, and that's what it is said about it. This hadith is great da'if. It is weak, and Muslims are supposed to ignore the weak hadiths and not base interpretation, not base interpretation of the Quran on them. Okay, so you guys can Google it and can check it yourselves, All right? There are other hadiths, but I am sure that your um, deceiver prince will not bring. He will only go to what is rejected, what is rotten. He collects only what is dirty and rotten and unauthentic. I would respect you more, Mr. Whatever you are, the Prince of Deceivers, if you brought something that is authentic. And if you show people the whole picture and just stick in snapshot or show in that just small bit, zoom in into that as if that is what it is. Uh, very cheap, very, very cheap, sir. Another one is in here. Atba, Muntadayat, Muntadayat, Atba. And I expect Christian Prince to come out here and tell me 
what I'm showing here is not the truth. So we're going down. I know you guys don't know Arabic, but I want him to check it. I will translate, as you can see here, it will translate. But I want him to check it too. Or any Arabic uh, Christian in here. Or even an atheist Arab. If he can tell me that this is not what we're talking about. By Albani. So let me uh, put the translation and get back. To English. Now... Fingers crossed. So let's see what's going to come up. With. Mm, nothing. Mm, what's going on? Can't get it in English. Very, very unfortunate. Um, let's see. Look, you need to uh, log in here. Okay. So I'm going to have to copy and paste into Google Translation. I'll copy that, the first bit, which is what we're talking about. Copy with Google. Paste in there. That's right. So Sheikh Albani said, Albani said, it is very weak in the weak chain. He has he has a book called The Chain of the Weak Hadith. So as you can see, let me go back and see what I can get from here. Hmm. Okay, let me get you this bit. Oh, man. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. So, translation is not going to be great, but it can be read. Let's see what it says. Dumaili said, this is the only hadith which is very weak. It was narrated by Ibn Majah that this hadith is very weak. Ah, then the hadith is not mentioned in the books of the Sunnah. It is not mentioned anywhere else except from that man here, Ibn Majah. But anyway, to strengthen and support him. This is also indicates that his weakness and his ignorance among the scholars. Okay? The chain of narration for this hadith is a total failure and it is most most scholars actually reject that hadith because of the narrator that 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 is un like not trustworthy. Okay. Now I want to listen to him and see what he says and follow it bit by bit, if not word by word. So we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Russ? Why are you upset? You say you, you say you say this guy is a fraud. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. All right. Now, I don't know who the caller is, but he comes in and puts a a, a very dumb statement. Nothing is sin in heaven. This is, by all standards, a ridiculous statement. Because the, um, the whatever is sin in this life has to be a sin in the afterlife. At least for the, the fact that we are going to be with God in heaven. So whatever is sin in here is, can be or should be a greater sin. In, 
here the year after okay except what is halal now what is permissible in this life then it will be permissible in the next life let's listen to what these guys are saying much this is what I'm saying in the heaven you can have sit with the goat it's fine for you right now Christian Prince again your dirty mouth is telling you now show us I challenge you if you show us where it says in Islam that we or we are allowed to have what you just stayed with the goat I I'm telling you I'm challenging you in front of your audience and I'm challenging your audience because most of the time your audience actually respond to me but you don't I know you are because you are um, you are big you 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 have a big pride but I don't mind you you can ignore me if you want to but at least show your audience you owe it to the audience you owe it to your audience to show them these because you are lying and they might be enjoying it but at least for fairness sake be be a person with morals and character show us where it says that we we in our heaven in jannah uh, or paradise where we, we can have what you said with goats right not nothing sin there's no sin you can you can have sex with your mother okay another lie another cheap way of talking very very dirty if you cannot have sex in this life with your mother how can you have sex in the hereafter in the presence of the angels and in the presence of God himself of course so you are so dirty that you, you can go that low and I, I wonder how come your audience is tolerating you Yes. Well, okay, so you can have your product. And the so-called whom is supposed to be a Muslim, whom I highly doubt. And now this is his bit now. The caller, and if you caller, if you are listening to what I'm saying, I challenge you to show me that you are a Muslim. The fact is, you told him that you are allowed to have um, sex with your mother, and you said yes, proves one million percent that you are not a Muslim. I don't care who you are. I am 120% sure that you are someone whom is on his books. You are actually part of this setup. And I say it again. It is a setup. No Muslim would say that it is permissible to have sex with God and your mother. And he just comes up here and says, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. Come on. What about having sex with your mother? You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Can you be more dirty than this? Amazing. You are so dirty. No, it's just, it's amazing. He said that it is permissible for us to have sex with our mothers while the father is having sex with the mother the son can have sex in the womb. so here for you audience he knows what i'm talking about he knows the verse but because he's a deceiver he would not go and show you so here is the quran it is chapter 4 verse 23 as you can see here the arabic is there whoever wants to read it read it i'm going to take you to the english part of it so i hope this is big enough for you guys to read Translation, of course, I'm still here, I didn't go anywhere. Prohibited to you for marriage are your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your father's sisters, your mother's sisters, your brother's daughters. Your I'm not going to be reading for you. You can pause and read. I just want you to know that Christian prince in here is so cheap and dirty when he knows well even if he doesn't know he knows now and you audience if you didn't know you know now Quran chapter 4 verse 23 it lists the non-marriageable women and you can read 
So let me see what he says now. Anything, anything is solid. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. Can you hear this man here, the so-called Muslim? I just, I don't, I don't know where he gets them. And honestly, I do not believe it for one minute that he gets true Muslims to talk to him like that. There is not a single Muslim on earth who would say what that this man just said here. And I'm challenging you, caller, who called Christian Prince in this to challenge me and show me and prove to me that you are a Muslim. Okay, let him talk. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a three son, you and your father and your mother in the bed. You're so dirty. Okay, and you don't see there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to answer you instead. I, I, I will leave the, the deceiver prince out of it. But whatever is sin in this life is going to be sin in the hereafter in heaven. I, this is the shortest bit of it, okay? I'll leave you. Well, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, I'm a smart guy. We think it's said due to a social structure. If Zakim, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Really? You're not trying to insult? Oh my God. What happened to you? What? Did you just develop some morals and character? Let's see. I'm sure you're going to blow it up. Take me wrong, please. You know, mm. I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. No, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and I, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing, you and Zach and I, to have share to share your sister to God? Do you see? I really thought he is. He just uh, became a little bit um, of a Christian, like he calls himself. A Christian would never say such a thing. Oh, you're so dirty. Oh, you Christian prince, you're so dirty. You, Christian prince, are a dirty man. Filthy man. Got it? In this case, Zach and I, in mm -hmm. heaven, mm -hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. He could. So, so you, you and your sister... And and there, yeah, look, look, look at the, the so-called Muslim. I can't believe this. But it, it wouldn't be my, it would be, wouldn't be my sister. Why not? <laughs> I can't believe this. I just can't believe how dirty is this man. I, I reluctantly want to listen. I, I, it's just, it's really hopeless. How dirty is this mind I mean okay even if he's seeing look he brings hadith like this that is totally utterly not really completely a uh, lie he, he adds from himself his dirt he pours his dirty thoughts and statements and opinion on us whom have to, unfortunately, listen to him. I swear to the Almighty God, if I did not have to answer to this lie and expose him as a liar and a deceiver and a cheater, I wouldn't listen to him because he's dirty mind. I just wonder how come these 7,415 people listen to him and look, people liked it. If you go down here, wow, it's like, man, another Muslim destroyed. Who says he is Muslim? Look, no, I can't believe this. Look, not one of ye guys commenting in here actually have the morality to ask this dirty, filthy-minded man to be a little bit decent and get to the point, say, hey guys, Muslims, I don't accept this. How do you reconcile this 
with what you call a religion from God. If I had a problem and I have videos which I uploaded and I show to the audience the issues in the Bible, from the Bible, about the Bible, but in a decent way, and I put it there and I leave it. I wouldn't comment in, in any degrading way and disrespectful. But this man here is disrespecting you people, you audience. Let's continue. Oh. Think of it as anything can happen. What do you mean anything can happen? And uh, the, uh, now uh, the, the dirty, filthy minded man is going to talk. Sir, it's possible that you and Zach and Mike have sex with your sister at the same time. That's amazing. I mean, what they can say this is beautiful. Amazing. Are you, I'm going to fast forward, guys. Please forgive me, but this is too low, too cheap, too dirty to listen to. Okay? So I'm going to move on. And a man is going to do sex to you. And now, you know, because you're a man, unless you're used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you when he. Oh my God. I, I can't believe. I can't believe people actually go through his videos, which are like two and three and sometimes four hours long listening to this oh my god okay let's see if this video goes on when I, when I, I, do it, do it. I will not i will not be the one that he does it to i'll be why <laughs> i can't believe the caller <laughs> as long as it is as it is not me being uh done uh, i don't mind I can't believe it. Where do you get these people from? How much do you pay them? I might consider calling you and lose to you and talk just and give you the upper hand and let you win some more uh, subscribers and viewers and people who are going to start very soon. They're going to start worshipping you. Very soon. Uh, there was a guy there who was actually oh man amazing praising you to a point that he wouldn't even praise Jesus the way he was praising you I like I, guys my dear brother Azim I really don't think that this man deserve our time I can't believe it you don't like to do it to many, don't like me to do it. No, 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time space. Oh, so can you believe it? People, can you believe this? I, 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 I honestly don't think there is dirtier and filthier than this. I don't know how you guys listen to him. And this is just a 12 hours minutes long clip out of a four hours or three hours I can't remember so I responded to it long video three and four hours long videos goes on like this with dirty filthy talk and you guys listen to him and you've got no problem with it it's amazing it's the, the level I mean would Jesus and Jesus the man the messenger would he be happy with a man like this who the the, the 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 deceiver prince or the Christian liar I, I doubt even the lowest the dirtiest human being on earth would not be happy with you and I, I like seven thousand people who watched this and the five thousand subscribers are just like you dirty filthy minded people who have accepted you this way let's follow I can't believe this. So what do you mean from me? You are saying this from me. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to for fast forward. I'm really sorry. 
if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klein? Oh, yes. My answer is yes. I just explained to you. Can you believe this? And the caller, the one who is having conversation with, is supposed to be a Muslim? Um, I'm sorry, I, I can't go beyond this. This is way too much. Um, call it, I'm withdrawing. Call it, destroyed, like you say there. Whatever you call it. But this is very low, very dirty, very cheap, very filthy. And I cannot be part of this. I ask God Almighty, Allah, Yahweh, Jehovah, um, Adonai, Elohim, to forgive me for having to listen to this man. I hope that you guys will develop a bit of morals and character. I hope you guys will demand from this man to rise up a bit to morals and characters and at least keep his filthy, dirty um, statements, opinions to himself. You will have this thing, this lie in here in, on the screen. Stick to it. Talk about that. Why do you have to go? out of your way to actually send no message you're doing nothing you're not getting anything out of it um guys as usual i greet you with the greeting of islam and that is salam alaikum my dear brothers and sisters in islam salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my dear brothers and sisters in humanity salam alaikum I again and again and again bear and testify, bear witness and testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, except God, Elohim, Yahweh, Jehovah, Adonai. Without a partner, without a son, without a father, and I bear witness and testify that Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, Abraham and Noah where are will always be of course obvious his prophets servants and messengers peace be upon them until we meet again take care Assalamu alaikum